welcome back to the bonus episode of Let's Play Dot Hack Mutation. There's still a lot for us to take care of. We have some new news, which is for the most part absolutely useless. Nobody cares. But we have some important new mail. Cleared game data, simply informing us what I informed you last time. We can use our cleared game data in the uh, beginning of the next game. The reversed city, however, is something we do not know. The reversed city in the sky. We can head to the endgame dungeon here at Theta Bitter Fantasy Mirror World. Now, if you recall, when we defeated Magus, we got a virus core. That is the virus core we used to enter the bonus dungeon. And there's something new on the board as well. Let's play Tag Take Two. We can go to the final round of Goblin Tag at Lambda Detestable Vengeful Gate. Oh, I've got some stuff to do. Let's get going. Oh my, that's right, the entire server's infected now. If infected is the right word for it, anyway. The sky's been shattered. You can see data everywhere. Even the music's changed. The whole area's got a, an odd bluish-green tint. Oh well. We have some things to take care of, so let's take care of them. Head to Lambda Detestable Vengeful Gate for the last round of Goblin Tag. Defeat the Golden Goblin running in the field. Now, this is pro a unique battle and is exceedingly hard. I paused it real quick just because this can go bad quickly. If Marina gets far enough away from you for the battle to end, she'll cast a regen spell on herself. And you'll notice, if you target her, she's magic tolerant, so you can't hit her with any spells. See, she's also fast enough, it's really hard to catch up to her, and she has high evasion, so... Attack isn't the way- or physical isn't the way to go, magic isn't the way to go. What do you do? Go down to items, and have... The Moon. The tarot card spells, as I've mentioned before, all put a status ailment on the enemy. You can pick up these most anywhere, I happen to have one left over from the last dungeon. And it, she is quite susceptible to being put to sleep. Now that she's asleep, go to Scrolls and have a Beast Bane or two. You can buy those in... I don't know if you can buy them in Lambda, but you can buy them in the Magic Shop in Theta. Decrease target's magic defense. Now since she's magic tolerant, all that does is remove her magic tolerance. Now, to top it off, we need to actually nuke her with something, a level 2 spell preferably, which is why I have many spells. Uh, I can get her, go ahead and hit her with fire, since I have 17 of these, and I happen to have a burning oil left over as well, which increases my fire element. Which means... where is it? No, not there. Items! Scrolls! Which means Fireball Storm will do even more damage! Not skills, items. Fireball Storm! Fireball Storm! Fireball Storm! Fireball freaking Storm! And down goes Marina. Martina. Goblins are nice! Gob! 
I like how she's trying to convince you, even with the word gob at the end. I see you're not interested. How unfortunate, Gob. You have so much potential. Sorry, Martina. I've got a world to save. Equip all Gob R-Series items. Something good will happen. I think, Gob. Okay, see you again. Gob. Imps praises. Zoom our camera back in here. Now that we have all of the goblin equipment and we have the Imp's Praises key item, if we equip all of the items, we gain a spell called More Goblins, which does the exact same thing the goblin pieces did in the previous game. I'll try and show that one off in a little bit. But first, we need to head to Delta Server. Now, this is something a lot of people have asking me if I was going to cover. Stop asking me if I'm going to cover something. I'm playing the games 100%. The answer to if I'm covering anything is yes. Now, in Delta... Wow, this server's bugged out, too. The server used to be so beautiful, and now it's green and blue and bugged out. Bad things are going down. But, Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground from the previous game is a fairly important keyword, but in this entire game we haven't had a reason to go there. If we do go here, though, we're treated with something special. It's any of your business. I'm a guy. Why are you asking that? <laughs> You're so weird. Mm -hmm. What are you up to? Why do you think I'm a girl? And why would that matter? Because we wanted to know if you were okay in real life. So you just went and snooped around? I'm sorry. But we did just that. They're gone! I wonder who they were. I feel like we've met before. If you go to Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground, you can do it four times and see different cutscenes from Dot Hack Sign. Now, as I've mentioned before, none of the characters in Sign are characters from the game, as many people have made the mistake of thinking. The three characters we saw there were Mimiru, Bear, and Tsukasa. They were not Black Rose, Orca, and Elk. They just have similar character designs. Now, that discussion there, I won't say too much about. You'll have to go watch Sign to fully understand what's going on. But know that Tsukasa is trapped in the world. In the real, in the real world, his body is in a coma. But for some odd reason, his mind can still wander around in the world. Now, we got two things from that. 
We got M. Wavemaster, a memory fragment. Which is a memory, if you would, of the Wavemaster of the previous group, Tsukasa. Now, we also got... A Golden Grunty, which is plus 30 to our maximum hit points. And we can go right back in and watch another one. There are four total. Now, they become available as the game goes on. If you wait until the end of the game, you can just watch all of them. I'll go ahead and skip straight to the cutscene. <laughs> 